financial stability of family, that cycle then, I'm gonna do whatever I need to do to survive out in the street. I go out in the street and I do whatever I need to do, whether good or bad, I need to survive. That cycle keeps going, they go into a, a facility, by the time they get out, because they're not being rehabilitated correctly, mm -hmm. like he says, um, they get out and then next thing you know, they're doing even more crimes, bigger and, and greater. Again, survival tactics, tactics, and then they go to jail and then to prison, and, they, and <coughs> again, it just it keeps going. It's just a vicious cycle that we need to stop. So I'm involved in trying to start, I'm not trying, we're doing it, but putting music and arts back in the schools at an early age to help them be creative, and especially in the foster care, because they're the last to be to, to be helped. Um, and we noticed that in helping the kids through music and arts, and giving them that outlet to be able to express themselves, being abused in any kind of way, mentally, spiritually, physically, these kids are in there abused and don't have any communication. Don't they? Don't want to speak with anyone. They're angry, upset. They don't want to talk to anyone. They're just, it, it's crazy, and that communication of breakdown then <coughs> puts them in a place of anger that they don't want to do anything, so everything is like shut down, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we bring music in, we bring arts in. They uh, uh, initially don't want to be, really be involved. Some of them do, some of them don't. Uh, the more we start working with them, the, way, the more they start creating. So it, we, we noticed that even with uh, paper mache and masks that they were making, you know, the, the first beginning part and stages of those masks, either they were red, they were black, they were evil, horns on it, you know, crying, all kinds of different things. The more that we worked with them, the colors of the mask mm. became lighter, mm. brighter, happy, smiley faces, uh, blue, yellow, uh, you know, mm. just, you could see the change. Without us even speaking with them, if you show the five different masks within a year, mm. you can see how they progressed as as they're progressing inside and allowing to express themselves. Same thing with music. So we started a couple of classes where the kids are able to write something. And again, they don't want to talk. They don't want to say anything. OK, we'll give you a word or a subject. Just write about it. You know. And so they write on the tablet. And I said, look, if you start writing about your stories, we can combine it all together and, and make an album and maybe uh, you know, sell it and, and, and we'll make some money and put it back in the system. Well, first thing, how much money am I going to get? So we give them the opportunity to write and then again, allowing them to express themselves to say, and I said, no matter what you want to say, how angry, you're mad at him or her over there, why, why are you mad? Tell the story. And we, I tried this one thing that really, it was like we were going to get into a fight. The first thing I said was, but can you really write what you want, say anything you want, except try not to use any like bad words, like curse words, curse words. Ah, oh, the whole room. <laughs> what do you mean? Because that's all they know. Find some, here's a word right here, love. Yeah, but, really? Okay, we can't do that. Okay, we'll try. So anyway, it took a minute for them to get out of that frame of mind because they're, they're, all they know is the street that they live on. Mm -hmm. That's it. They don't see past that. One of the kids said, I, I asked, what do you want to do? Okay, what I want to do is, what do you want to be when you grow up or when you get out of this school? Well, I'd like to get married, and I'd really like to um, have a couple of kids, a family like I never really had, like my parents all around. You hear the same story. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I saw on TV this one time that this house that had a white picket I really like a white picket fence. And, and you know, I like to get, I want to move in, in this area, which was only 10 blocks from his house. Oh. He thought that that was like, which it is. I, may, I want to live over there. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, you can, man. We can do that. We just got to 